They couldn't make it happen at last reunion, so they waited to bring it up um, on this season, on The Real Housewives of New Jersey. So I think it's really sad and pathetic that they would stoop to this level. Welcome back to Access Hollywood's Housewives Nightcap. The time has finally come. Our Jersey girls are back. Jersey is back. It's bigger, better than ever. There are new housewives. And I just can't wait. I feel like we needed this in the housewife universe. We a thousand percent needed this. And we're kicking things off with one of our favorites, Margaret Josephs. Honestly, like, I'm not just saying this. I, we love Jersey so much. And you guys are coming back with a bang. But tell us, tease us what we can expect this season. I mean, Listen, there's a we have some new people, which which are great, which I love that we got them in the mix. But I think there is a lot of, as well as there's fun times, there's a lot of family drama. There's unfinished business. There's some makeups. There's some fallout. There's amazing trips. I think there is a lot of new dynamics. Um, so I think people get a lot of mix of different relationships and a lot of, you know, grudge holding. <laughs> you have the new girls this season, which I really enjoy. I like, what can yes, you tell I do them? too. You do. Okay. Yeah. I love, you know, I think the girls fit in seamlessly. Obviously I love some more than others. Jen Fessler is a friend of, she's my girlfriend. So I adore her. Rachel Fuda is amazing. Danielle fits in as well. I wouldn't say she fits in as well with me, though I did welcome her with open arms. Um, you know, Wait, she, is she the one that you said looks like Tim Burton? No, no, Rachel <laughs> Buda. I didn't say she looks like Tim Burton. I said she's a glamorous Tim Burton character. And I do mean that with a compliment. You know, I see, I call it as I see it. She is long black hair. She is big eyes. She's willowy. I mean, I would love to be a Tim Burton character. Okay, but what about you and Jen? It doesn't look in the teaser, in the trailer, it does not look like you guys see eye to eye again this season. Well, that, I mean, truthfully, I think that has nothing to do with me as much as Jen cannot move forward on things. I came in with a fresh start and, you know, she just can't seem, she harbors grudges. It must be something in the water in Paramus. So she's still upset that you brought up the cheating affair last season, which happened, yeah. you know, what you said happened so long ago, you were just trying to prove a point last season. So is she still upset about that? Yes. Yes. She's still upset about it. And so she, you know, wants to hurt me and, you know, upset and coming back with vengeance and, you know, she's going to teach me a lesson, you know, she's not ever, I, I didn't need to be best friends with her. We're never going to be best friends, but I thought as mature women, we had a heartfelt makeup. I had texted her throughout last season at the reunion, you know, she was vicious to me, but I, you know, I took it cause I was like, she's a wounded bird. So I was very, I thought I was very nice to her about it and everything else. But, you know, she just was not over it. And so she was going to come back as, you know, attacking and aggressive. You you also didn't have a good reunion with Teresa. It was like, I, I guess I'm kind of confused what, what Teresa was mad at you for and why. I, 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 I'm, I'm genuinely confused. Did something, did I forget something happened? Uh, she, uh, she was upset because I had discussed what was in the press nothing to do with that I brought up whatsoever discuss what was in the press about Louie at the time right. uh, I didn't have to dig it up it was out in the ether um so she was upset at the reunion at that time so when I left the reunion I was like our relationship is severed she said vile vile things to me uh even Louie was a little shocked at the way she spoke but when we came back into the season which you guys saw it's right out of the gate uh, there is a makeup there yes. she wants to make amends. I was taken aback myself. I was willing to be cordial because I am a grown up, unlike some people on my show. And I am not a grudge holder, but you know, I was really taken aback that she was willing to make amends. What did you think of her saying she's going to therapy now? I thought that was great. I think everybody could use some therapy. I love, I love a good therapy session. Totally. I thought that was great that she's open to it. We haven't really seen Teresa like, you know, want to, um, to do something like that. 
Yes. And no one, by the way, you know, a few months of therapy, no one's healed. I mean, therapy is a long road. Yeah. And you guys obviously came friendly enough to go to her wedding. Yes. Yes. Of course. Was, which we need to just talk about the elephant in the room. How shocked were you that Melissa did not go? Melissa and Joe did not go to the wedding. I wasn't shocked. I wasn't shocked at all. When everybody sees the season finale, they'll understand clearly why she didn't go. It's not shocking at all. Got it. Okay. So we'll see it all kind of. I think everyone will see it play out. I think there's a lot of speculation. I think people don't realize what has happened. These waters run very deep. Yeah. And I think anybody in their shoes would have felt the same way. Will, do you ever see, because we have seen this. I mean, this show has been on for, I don't know how many years now, but since the beginning of uh, Melissa and Joe entering the show, there's been friction. Will we ever see them get back together and make amends? Uh, I never, you know, I never say never. Life is very short. Anything can happen. Um, we'll, we'll have to see. I don't think anytime soon. I don't know in the next year. I don't know in the next two years. I don't know. I don't, I don't know when. Hmm. Where do you guys all stand with one another? Because you kind of have Teresa's side and you have Melissa's side. At BravoCon, you guys were separated. Yes, we were. Which, was it really that bad? I think I asked you that at BravoCon because all the fans were shocked that you guys were so separated. I think we were separated because we hadn't filmed Reunion yet. And I think no one wanted a Reunion episode at BravoCon. Hmm. Um, Nothing's ever that bad for me. I think it it is rough though right now. I think emotions are still running very high. Our show is very real because we have authentic relationships on the show. And I think it's going to be a killer reunion after we watch back the entire season. Oh gosh. Are you nervous to watch back this season? No, I'm not nervous. I'm never nervous to watch back this season. Okay. Never nervous. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued to hear all the nonsense they said. <laughs> What's the update with Melissa and John's relationship? Are they friends? Non-existent. Non-existent. I think that's, you know, that's never happening. Mm. Okay. And are you, I know we talked about this a little bit earlier, but you and Jen still, I no, no, not happening. Not, you know what? It's unfortunate. I will say it's unfortunate, but you know, there's a maturity level there that is just not happening for, and it's not me. I'll just leave it at that. Like you've seen me move past a lot of things. I've forgiven Teresa for having my hair pulled. I'm very much a grown up and can handle my emotions. Yeah. So the group is very divided. So I do think it's good that this new blood is coming in because I feel it up for you guys, you know? Yes. Yeah. Listen, I always welcome in new women. I love new friendships. I love new bonds. I love a new perspective. And I think it's great. Are you still close with Melissa? Oh yeah. I talk to her every day. Of course. I love Melissa. I love Dolores. I, you know, I still think we're a great group of women. It's unfortunate that it's so divided. Now I want to know this. Like, I want to know your opinion on this there's rumors I think you guys even bring it up in the trailer that uh, Melissa allegedly was making out with some guy in the back of the car what can you say about all of that oh yeah well they accused it of coming out of my house because it was a former friend of mine who Teresa and Jennifer decided to meet with FYI a year ago before last reunion I'm going to put that out there and they couldn't make it happen at last reunion so they waited to bring it up um, on this season on the Real Housewives of New Jersey. So uh, that's what the interesting thing is. Yeah, so they it's very interesting. So everything they've ever accused me of, a meeting with people, digging for things, uh, making up rumors. Yeah, so Melissa and I knew about this a year ago that uh, they were plotting this to bring this up and and do these things and we and we just held it so melissa and i've known about this since i'll give you the exact date february 27th 2021 melissa myself dolores jackie we all knew about this um 
so I think it's really sad and pathetic that they would stoop to this level. Wow. Okay. So we didn't know that. We didn't, we had no idea that this happened. I don't know why. Well, didn't yeah. I've, uh, we've known, we've known about it and it's very funny. Jennifer had brought it up at last reunion and I, and I, and she, and Melissa, and she said to Melissa and cause no one knew who they met with them. And Jennifer's like, Oh, I'll never bring it up again. I won't do this. But obviously she was stewing and, and decided she would uh, plot. Right. Because did it actually happen? That's the no. whole. I mean, that's no. the ridiculous. That's the ridiculous right. part. The ridiculous part is, of course, are we friends with you know said parties? We worked with them. They were at my talent agency. So these kind of speculative things are so absolutely foreign and ridiculous. What you're not allowed to have friendships with men. So anybody who's looking to come into this friend group, how are they going to get in this friend group? If no one, if they, you know, I'm saying the show, no, this friend group, no one wants them here. So of course, what's the best way to get in cause drama, make up rumors, everything else. So, uh, but it didn't work. Wow. That was like a mic drop. I, I, yeah. I feel like now we're understanding maybe a little more of what goes down at the wedding, which we still haven't seen Teresa's wedding special actually. No, so see it until after Jersey. Oh, is that what's happening? I saw the teaser, but that was it. Yeah, I think, it, you know, she doesn't get married till the end, uh, okay. the end of the summer. And and I'm going to say it was a beautiful wedding. It was a beautiful wedding and it was a heartfelt ceremony. And I have nothing negative to say about that wedding. It was a beautiful wedding. That's amazing. It looks beautiful. How yeah, is Marge Senior doing? Are I'm we going to see about her? to ask the same thing. She's so sweet. I love her. Marge Senior living her best life. So happy. She was just in California this weekend. I've never, I mean, I hope I have as much energy as her. She has more energy than I do. The woman gets up at the crack of dawn. She goes to work. She travels. I, I really don't know how she does it all. Oh my gosh. Which by the way, Marge, you look great this season. Uh, Thank you so, so much. Even with my, even with my uh, broken arm on the season, I managed I to pull it together. Wait, before we let you go, I want to know what your rose and your thorn is of the season. And I hate that I'm seeing rose and thorn, but like, what was the right yeah, rose thorn? Yeah. Rose and thorn. What was that? Rose, rose was going, our trip to Ireland was magnificent. We had a beautiful, beautiful trip. My thorn was the season finale. It was very upsetting, very painful. Oh, it was, it was because I saw what things, you know, things really unraveled there and it was very painful to watch. Um, I think they were trying to hurt me, but they really hurt Melissa. And that's what really bothered me because I do not want to see her get hurt. And she really- Wait, they were trying hurt. to hurt you? Yeah, they were trying to hurt me. Truthfully, they were trying to hurt me because they were saying, my friend said this, my friend said that you know, someone who's not even relevant to the show. And mm -hmm. you know, they were trying to hurt me, but in the end, they really hurt Melissa. And that's what bothered me terribly. Mm. I hate seeing any of my housewives hurting. I only want to see you guys in good style, good glam, laughing, having fun. <laughs> yes, I agree. You know what? I agree because you know what? These are real relationships and friendships. And it's, it's very painful when something horrible happens. Mm. Oh, okay. Well, we're so looking forward to this season. We feel reinvigorated in the housewife universe right now. After Mark was like, Marge was like, it's so painful. We're like, we're so excited. I know. We're so excited to see people crying their eyes out. <laughs>